so I'm back with a with review. It's been a while since I posted anything on my channel, even though I recorded videos and and have stuff to post. I've just been really busy, and my computer's been acting up, so there's that. And really, no excuse. Just life is kind of taking over. But I have a wig review today. I went back to the East Coast for a few weeks to visit family and whatnot. And while I was there with the abundance of beauty supply stores, I couldn't help but stop in almost on a daily basis. It's really bad. Um, and I bought a couple of wigs. So today I'm gonna to be showing one of them in this video. And the one I have is this Janet Wigs Premium Futura Fiber wig. And as you can see, obviously, it's a short style. The name is Iris. And I just happened to go into the beauty supply one day and I was trying on short wigs, trying to find one that was still short but that had like a nice smooth action going on in the front. And I don't know, just, I really wasn't finding anything that I was like slayed by, you know? And so I happened to go in one day and I saw this one and I tried it on. And what really sold me on it was this finger wave, um, that is on the sides and on the back. It really reminds me of the mommy wig and I really like the mommy wig because you know, it lays down with a nice wave or it curls up real nice and it just looks more natural to me. Sometimes when short wigs are straight, I feel like they really look wiggy for some reason. It may just be on me, but I don't know. Just sometimes it doesn't really sit well with me. So I went ahead and bought this one because I pretty much fell in love with it when I tried it on. Um, it's in the color two. I just wanted something that looked natural, um, that wasn't too dark or anything like that. I really wanted one with a lace L part, but I just couldn't find one. So this is what I ended up with. This is the wig still in the net with the tissue paper on the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it on. Okay, so this wig doesn't have any combs or anything on the inside. It just has the adjustable straps here. Um, after I bought this wig, I went onto YouTube just to see if anyone had done any reviews or anything. And it was only like three on this wig back around November, December of 2014. So I just thought it would be good just to bring my own my own review of the of the wig. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on. So let's see. Okay. So this is what she looking like straight out the package. So I like that, you know, you can flip it one way or the other just depending on what you're feeling like. It still works. And this unit does take heat up to 360 degrees. So if you want to recurl this or make it straighter or, you know, do whatever tickles your fancy, you can up to 360 degrees. And this is the side. And this is the back. Hopefully you guys can see that. I hope I don't go back to this video and it's like all out of frame, but yeah. 
haven't, I'm scared a little bit to put water on it because it is a synthetic unit. So unlike the mommy wig I have, which is human hair, I don't know how this one's going to react to water. But just fluffing it up like this, you kind of get the little curl pattern popping off, which is really cute. And this adds a little extra funkiness to it. And then since this doesn't have a part, I feel like with the curls, it keeps it from looking so wiggy because it, it just looks more natural because you know curls would usually hide a part or hide scalp or anything like that anyway. So it doesn't really feel like, or it doesn't really look too wiggy. <laughs> but yeah. This is this. And that's pretty much how I style it. Um, But yeah, this hair really is really malleable. It, you know, it pretty much holds wherever you cut it without having to worry about hairspray or anything extra. You can kind of just finger comb it or use your a styling utensil or whatever, a styling tool to get it where you want it and it stays, which is really nice. So, so yeah. little extra curly piece they had there. I smoothed my edges down with a little bit of gel. So yeah, and when I first got this unit, I was thinking about um, adding some extra tracks here in the front, which once I wear it some more and kind of play around with it a little bit more, I might still do that um, just for like a little extra length maybe. Um, to this piece because I think it's plenty full really I don't think it needs to be much fuller at least not for me but um, maybe for a little extra length um, just add a couple tracks and yeah good to go but yes I really love this unit a lot um, I know that it's a bit of um, an older style or like it you know it definitely will mature you but I'm 26 and I look like I'm 18 so the fact of the matter is that I don't mind those wigs that kind of give me a few years because I already look young as it is and you know it's fun and it's nice to, to sort of look closer to your age so you don't get mistaken but anyway, so yeah, I'm sure you guys will be seeing her a lot because I absolutely love my mommy wig and she is definitely up there with my favorites. 